Welcome back. One of the most outspoken and successful coaches in the NBA has repeatedly criticized President Trump. He's defended Colin Kaepernick and recently called the USA an embarrassment to the world. Now he says rich people like him are a bunch of cheapskates when it comes to charity. And it turns out he's dead wrong. San Antonio Spurs coach Greg Popovich has five NBA titles to his name, and he's made a ton of money in the process. Same goes for a lot of his players. But when a local reporter asked him why it's important to contribute to charities, he responded, because we're rich as hell and we don't need it all and other people need it. He went on to say, you're an ass if you don't give. Well, guess what, Pop? Rich people do give to charity, especially rich Americans. According to the Almanac of American Phil Philanthropy, the top 1% of American income earners are responsible for one-third of all donations made. So who's the real A double S S here, buddy? Joining me now, the president of the American Institute for Economic Research and professor of economics at Trinity College, Ed Stringham, joins me once again. Hi, Ed. Hello, Kennedy. Nice to see you. So Greg Popovich makes it sound like rich people are lazy and selfish, and they don't give a lot of money. But in fact, it's actually wrong. Yeah. So ever since the days of Andrew Carnegie, who said, it is the duty of rich people to accumulate wealth and then give that away. People have been doing that. Now, I don't think it's their necessary duty to give it all away, but you can look around in all the top museums, the concert halls, Carnegie Hall, David Koch Theater. I was going to say the David Koch Theater. These are paid for. All this money is coming from rich people, and I can go to those theaters without having to fork over the $50 million renovation price. And so every single time I go, I thank rich people yeah. for all the great work that they're doing for society. Yeah, when you go see the ballet, which is heavily subsidized by the wealthy, uh, or the opera, or any number of the arts which are still alive and thriving in this country, it's because of uh, some of the benefactors who contribute to these programs. But when I well, what I want to ask you is, obviously, uh, the new tax bill that was just signed into law uh, sort of penalizes people who make charitable donations who have itemized those deductions in the past, and about $4,400 per household uh, were deducted against income. But now only 5% of what used to be 30% of people will be able to do that. Doesn't that disincentivize giving? Well, a little bit yes and no. I mean, there's higher standard deduction rate. And so for most people, they're not going to want to have to go through and say, I gave $5 at my church yesterday. I gave $5 two weeks ago. And so for most people, the amount of deductions are actually you're not going to have to worry about. And so okay. that's going to be simplifying people's tax So reform. most people are going to take the doubled standard deduction and they, they don't itemize anyway. Yeah, if you want to, I mean, there's lots of things that people can do. And they say for, for high-income people, a lot of those people are going to be doing the itemized deduction. So, you know, I'm not an expert on all the specifics of it, but it's basically going to be simplifying it. Now, there's a lot of charities who are saying, well, you know, now that we're not itemizing each line, then we're not getting these special um, uh, benefits for people. Yeah. And that is true to some extent. Are charities um, going to feel the hit? I mean, ideally, they're going to be uh, having to get people's money through, I would say, voluntary sector means and not getting these special privileges that we current have, currently have. So I think Americans should be able to decide if they want to give their money to charity mm -hmm. or not give their money to charity. And I kind of question this whole approach that the government needs to be encouraging people to be doing more. Interesting. So I'm totally happy when people give money to charity. I mean, don't, don't charity. you trust people to give their money away? I don't think it, it, we need government as a tool of force and oppression or uh, hotheads like like Greg Popovich shaming people into giving money, I think people are inherently good, and I don't think rich people, by virtue of their richness, are bad. I agree with that. So I'm happy if they give, but if they don't want to give, that's their choice. And so we need to allow people to voluntarily make this decision mm -hmm. rather than having government to say, you need to do this, or we're going to encourage you to do that. Yeah. I think that's one of the great things about freedom is let's the person decide. Government shouldn't be deciding what percentage of your money goes to the, the opera. I happen to love the opera, but I'm not going to mandate that on other people. So even the rich person who doesn't give to charity, I would say, 
That's their prerogative. That's their business. So Steve Jobs, people criticize him sometimes. Oh, he didn't give enough money to charity. But if you look at all the wealth that he created, all the great jobs, all the great technology he created, fantastic. Uh, Warren Buffett, he's eventually going to give his money to yeah, charity. Yeah, billions. But the fact that he hasn't been so far, some people even criticize him. I said, no, great. Look at all this. I don't mind if billionaires criticize each other. Like, I don't mind the Bill Gates. Like, come on, Warren. I'm giving away half of everything I have. Maybe even more than that. You should give your fortune away, too. It's one of these mindsets that a lot of these people feel like they need to give their money away during their lifetime and when they pass away. And when you pass away, can I have your money? <laughs> All of the billions of it. Yes. I'm, I'm actually going to see I my... I knew this job would so be worthwhile. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be so Ed Stringham Rich, I can't wait. Ed, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure's mine. Always great to see you.